Goodbye, Mr. Scaletta.
Leo! Leo, you here? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here! Oh, shut up! Leo, this Leo, gun up put here. it away! It's me, Vito! Vito? What the hell are you doing here? You could have called Leo, me. there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong with Okay, you? so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out what? of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clemente lied and said he was in a dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you! Stop talking, for Christ's sake. Get dressed and let's go! Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage? They don't know we're expecting. I can't do that. I know the guy. I'm actually the one who got him the job. Huh? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late. They're here. Oh, shit. Henry can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. Vito! What the hell are you doing here? Take it easy, Henry. Put the gun down and send the guys away. I'm gonna explain everything. Boys, wait for me outside. If I don't come out in a few minutes, come looking for me. Get in there. Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know that he was gonna put a contract out on him. I had to warn him, you gotta understand. Yeah, but you gotta understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and I'll have me killed. Damn it, Henry, I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't wanna watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Rito, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's gotta be a way. Rito. Go. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. You owe me big for this one, pal. What? Hey, kid. Leo. You want a drink? What the hell happened? Your friend and I made a deal. I'm gonna disappear. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Well, first, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. Okay, Vito. Now, get me over to the train station, if you wouldn't mind. This town's been good to me, but now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. You, uh, gonna tell Frank what happened? Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You're gonna have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo.
You know, this whole thing got complicated real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. What did you expect? You swear the oath, you put on a fancy suit, and then it's one big pardon? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. Make a few phone calls, settle my affairs. Then I'm gonna head for the airport. I'm gonna go someplace warm. This time tomorrow, I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere, sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. One thing's for sure. Carlo wants me dead, and sticking around here is like buying a one-way ticket to the morgue. Isn't that a little drastic? No, I've been meaning to retire anyway. When you get to be my age, Vito, then all this squabbling starts to seem a little pointless. Frank's never gonna change. He's a brawler. Nowadays, he just listens to the young hotheads because they tell him what he wants to hear. If he wants to be some kind of wise guy sheriff and go after Carlo, then he can do it without me. I'm just sorry I got you into this mess. All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never going to be as stupid as you were today, risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man. Frankie, what, what are you doing here? Vito, I don't know what to do. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him ever again. Oh, what happened? See who? Eric! Your husband, what? He, he drinks and he parties all the time. Whoa, and he... Does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito! Please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. He? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey. When you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito. But please don't hurt him. Please. Don't worry. I'll go talk some sense into him, okay?
Good evening. So what can I do for you, sir? Thanks, Vito. I appreciate the business. Francesca, Eric came home and he's all beat up. You said you wouldn't hurt him. He probably got in a fight. You know, he's been hanging out with a very bad crowd. He apologized for everything, Vito. He promised he'll be good to me. It's all okay now. So you'll leave him alone, won't you? Hey, whatever you want. But if he hurts you again, I'll kill him. <gasps> Listen to yourself, Vito. I, I, I don't know you anymore. Look, you... You stay away from us, you understand? Just... just stay away! <laughs> Watch the place! Do it! Now! Born! <laughs> you dago cunt! Born! <laughs> My house! Fuck!
Oh, excuse me, sir. Sorry. Get the fuck out. Please don't shoot.
Soviets just drove into us. We're bringing them in. <gasps> Copy that. Come on, Joe, don't tell me you're not home. Let's go. You better not be passed out. Come on! All your horses. I'm coming, I'm coming. What were you, barbecuing in your underwears? Yeah. Can I come in? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 of course. I, I'll fix you a drink. What the fuck? Nice, ain't it? What the hell happened to this place? I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's really, uh... different. Yeah, huh? I decorated it myself. So what the hell happened? Here, take this. Those crazy fucking mix. What about them? What'd they do? They tried to fucking kill me. What? And they burned my fucking house down. Son of a bitch. So what are you gonna do? You wanna go deal with the mix right now? Damn right I do. All right, relax. Have a drink. Let me make a few phone calls. And, uh, take a look at my closet. Unless you wanna go on a rampage in your skivvies. Thanks. Thought you'd never ask. Hey, it's Joe. Yeah, I know, I know. But I need a favor. A bunch of mix try to kill a good friend of mine tonight. Point this house down. I want to know who they are and where they're operating out of. Hey, you're gonna have a lot worse to worry about if you don't tell me. Mickey Desmond. Oh, oh, he is. Well, that explains it. Where is he now? Yeah, yeah, I know the place. All right, thanks. Where are we going? The Hill of Tara, the Mick joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car. Well, the bed's not too bad. Wow, kitchen's pink too. Come on, get in. Anything about the mix lately? Nah, nothing. Why? The mix got themselves a new boss. Name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take his spot, so he's trying to show everybody that he means business. 
What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, I should have known. My money's on him being down at that shit old joint right now. Laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo-yos. So let's get over there and deal with him. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left. So I guess we should just storm the place. Surprise the shit out of them. I like this plan. Assholes burnt my fucking house down. Relax. We'll be there in a minute. Shit, you're gonna need a piece. I almost forgot. Yeah, if you got one, that'd be good. If not, I'll just beat him to death with my bare hands. It makes no difference to me. Should be one in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Here you go. Thanks. Ready, Vito? Come on, let's go get these fucks. I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. fuck. You... You've got some balls. Yes, I do. I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. Fuck. You... You've got some balls. Yes, I do. Come on out, sweetheart. I'm going in! Oh. Kill that bastard! Let's go, Vito. Ah, he he the his hole. He shoot like my sister. Fuck you! Come on, you bastard! Come on, you fuck! Kiss your ass to fuck! Come on, you bastard! Fuck you! <clears throat> Over there! I'm gonna get you sooner or later. to get in the way. All right, come on, you drive. I got a Caucasian male carrying a handgun. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Take care of that, huh? Yeah, but don't give me the house back. Don't worry. Business is looking <gasps> good. Hey, pursuit of a hit and run driver. Real soon. Yeah, sure as hell. All right. 
Let's go back home. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I can do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're from Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So, uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. So you feel better now? Not really. What we did back there doesn't even start to make up for it. Hey, all that stuff they got pointed up is just things, Vito. Just things? Hey, those were my things, Joe. What do you think I do to shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads, houses. Now I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. I promised myself I'd never be poor again. End up a fucking wharf rat like my old man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Glass is always fucking half full with you, isn't it? to red lights? Okay, I'll see you around, I guess. See you, buddy. Sorry about tonight. Pursuit of a hit and run driver. Roger that. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Tell me what you need, sir. Another satisfied customer.
What a fucking dump. God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. Fuck, this is creepy. My house burned to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. See you there. Hey, here he comes. Hey! What's up? Hey, Vito. Take a seat. All right, listen. I've been doing some research into Carlo's business. So? So, the only reason he had Clemente killed was because he was selling dope, too. And he was stealing his customers. Now he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. The one guy who could fuck things up and ruin his plan to become the main supplier for the whole city. Frank Vinci. Where'd you get all this? I talked to a few people I trust. Okay, so what does this have to do with us? Cause, if he can do it, why can't we? A kilo of heroin costs 2,500 bucks over in France. Then it's another thousand bucks to get it here. And? And we pick up 11 grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. That's 7,500 bucks profit a mm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcone? Carlo won't find out. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand the cut. All right, but if Carlo's the only big supplier in the city, where are you gonna buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. What do you two know about the Tongs? The Chinks? Some kind of organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said, the Chinks. Right, but it's also a front for their other operations. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. 
But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. They'll give us 10 kilos to start. For how much? 35 grand. And we can sell it for... 110. <whistles> nice. Okay, well, where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 35 grand? I know a loan shark, the Yid over on Palisade. I think a loan is 35 if we give him 45 back. Now that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. But you know, who's gonna end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an hour. Because Vinci was right. Drugs are bad news, they kill people. Look, only idiots do drugs. Deadbeats and losers. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'd gladly help them out. Especially for 20 grand. I got buyers in the ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution. So we don't need to worry about that. Are you guys in or not? I'm in. Come on, don't be stupid, Vito. 20 fucking grand in one afternoon. <sighs> when? Right now. If we don't take the offer, the towns will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito, it'll be a piece of cake. Let's go see Bruno then. Vito, how about you run us all down there? He's on Palisade Street. Okay, let's go. So who's this guy we're gonna see, Henry? His name's Bruno. He's one of the only guys in town who could do a loan this big. What if he doesn't give it to us, then what? Then the deal's off. But don't worry, I know this guy. He'll give us the money. There ain't nobody else we can get this kind of money from? There's three of the guys I know of. But if you want to ask Carlo or Frank Vinci for 35 grand, be my guest. Yeah, no thanks. Who's the third guy? He ain't in business no more. Somebody blew up a room full of his guys and shot him point-blank in the face with a Tommy gun. Oh, that guy. Come on, we said we wasn't gonna talk about that. All right, so, Henry, what is this guy, rich or something? I think he gets his money from some of the bosses from out of town who sit on the commission. Yeah? No shit. Yeah, which is why we can't stiff the guy. Besides, we gotta keep this quiet. Can we trust him? Sure. Wise guy's been borrowing money from this guy forever. As long as we pay him back on time, we won't have a problem. Hey, genius. Red light means stop. This is it. Stop here. Hi, fellas. We're here to see Bruno.
Hiya, Henry. If you got guns on you, put them down there. I gotta search you. Hiya, Bruno. Hello, Henry. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company today? I need 35 grand in $20 bills. Oh, that's a lot of money, Henry. A lot of money. Tell me, why should I give that much to a small-time guy like you, huh? Convince me. I got a short thing. You'll have 45 by the end of the week. What kind of sure thing? Sorry, Bruno. That's a trade secret. Then 45 is not enough. I'd be more comfortable with 65. That's a bit steep, even for you. 50 is all I can do. Henry, Henry, I have no guarantee I'll get my money back. And you have nowhere else to go. So, how about 60? Don't think of it as interest. It's more like my cut of the profits. 55, final offer. Anything more than that, it's not worth my time. Deal. I'll give you $35,000 today, and you'll give me $55,000 by Friday. If you don't pay it back by then, the debt goes up by $10,000 every week. You'll get it by Friday. Okay. Isaac, prepare $35,000 and $20 bills. Now, you know I trust you, Henry, but if you screw me, remember these wise words from the Bible. And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. Exodus, chapter 22, verse 24. <laughs> I'm impressed. You don't seem like the church-going type. Uh, but just remember, the money isn't mine. So even if you get rid of me, that doesn't get rid of your debt. So no funny business, okay, boys? Sure, Bruno. Thank you, Isaac. You want to count it, Henry? I'll take your word for it, and I'll bring it back on Friday along with your cut. I hope so. Good luck, boys. Nice job, Henry. Of course. I told you to give us the dough, didn't I? How come you know the Bible so good, Henry? You read it or something? Bruno always uses the same quote. I go to church on Sunday, so I ask the priest one time. You go to church? <laughs> yeah, and I can understand why you don't. They use big words, there's no hookers, and the fool's lousy. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Jeez, I ain't been there since... 45. What? That time your mother made you go to confession? Yeah, that time she smacked me for checking out some chick's cool. Ah, I gotta rest his soul. How about you, Joe? How long's it been? Easter. Ah, oh, that ain't too bad. 1941. I take that back then. You're going straight to hell. What, you just figuring that out now? Don't worry. I'll save seats for the both of you. You know, I heard about a loan shark named Bruno once. Must be the same guy. Yeah? What'd you hear? Well, you know Mickey the Crab, right? What, the guy who cleans the bathrooms at Carlos Joint? Yeah, the guy who's only got a finger and a thumb on his left hand. Guess how that happened? I heard he owed a lot of money to some yid from Southport. Get my drift? Oh, right. I get the picture. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, though. Crab's a moron. Nothing like that's gonna happen to us. Did you not see that light turn red?
What are you trying to kill us? Gee. All right, we're almost there. Drive through the gate and into the yard. All right, follow me, fellas, and let me do all the talking. Hey, we got some business with your boss. Greetings, Mr. Tomasino. Welcome, Henry. Hello, Mr. Wang. Let us get straight to business. Is your suitcase heavy enough? See for yourself. Yo, Da, this is a bank of 20 million Chinese Yen. It's worth 35,000 Yen. All right, take it away and bring the goods. You're a good man, Henry. Here is your merchandise. Each bag contains one kilo. Each kilo weighs a little more than two pounds. Which one do you want to test? Okay, we're good. I'm glad. Next time, we can give you twice the amount. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Wang. The pleasure was all mine. Knock it off. See how easy that was? Let's get back in the car. All right, fellas, the hot pot's over. Now we just gotta make the exchange and we're done. Sounds good to me. Where are we headed? Hunters. I got it all lined up. Hello, gentlemen. Fucking sick. I think you have something for us. Drop the suitcases. Hmm. Nice shoes. Wait a minute. These guys ain't cops. Kill the bastard! Shoot, Vito! Vito, watch our back! Back me up, Vito! Oh, no. scared? Here comes more of them! Hold on! I got him! Clean! Nice! Oh, oh, shit! Too too many many of them. Come on! Run! Move your asses! Thanks over there! Vito, watch our back! Stay away from these windows, fellas. Damn it, Vito! No Stay sense staying up. Vito! Kick the door in! Oh, 
Please, let's kill that fucker! Die, asshole! Lost him! Did I see him? I 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 got him pinned down! Let's go, Vito. Cover me. Come on, let's kick the shit out of this guy. Stay sharp, Vito. Help me out here. All right, I'm gonna try to keep him alive. Shoot him. Come on, fuck you. Please. Yeah, let's kill Bring him. It on. Get this fuck Come out of your hole, you oh, fucking I'm rat! You. I'm going in! Die, asshole! I got you covered, Vito! Move! There he is! Let's kill him! What are yeah. you scared, asshole? Hey, asshole! Over oh, here! Uh, oh. Fucking shot. All right, showtime, Vito. They teach you that in the army? I'm the best. I'll cover you moving. Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. Let's kick the shit out of this guy. Hey, hurry up and kill this guy. I'm almost out of bullets. Cover me. Shoot that guy. Back me up, Vito. Help me out here, fellas. I got something on, for you. Get the shit out of this guy. Cover me. All right. I'm going to try and get behind him. He's over there. Cover me. You guys okay? Hey, hurry up and cover this guy. I'm almost uh. Uh. You drive like my fucking grandmother, you know that? You're still breathing, ain't you? Shit. That was fucking close. It's not over yet. They're coming after us. Fuck! Loser! Way to get you. He's mine. Loser. Yeah, alright, alright, let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Hey, genius. Red light means stop. <clears throat> what the fuck was that, Henry? No idea. Somebody else must have known about the deal. Those definitely weren't real cops. 
Maybe it was the chinks trying to fuck us. Nah, I doubt it. Look, I'll figure it out. But first, we gotta unload this stuff. Vito, take us to the old warehouse in Hunters. All right. Hope this deal goes better than the last one. It will. Not like it can go any worse, right? So who are we selling the stuff to? Uh, a bunch of different guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean a bunch of different guys? Money if you sell it in smaller amounts. Would have been really nice to know before I agreed to go in on this. If I did, from the way you were talking back in the park, you probably wouldn't have. Yeah, exactly. Hey, the best you could hope for right now is to spend the next 30 years of your life breaking your ass for Eddie and Carlo before you either get bumped off or end up back in the can. The only time you're ever gonna see cash like this is if you stick your neck out. Besides, I ever steer you wrong. <sighs> well, there was the OPA job. And that time we almost got killed when we whacked that fat fucking sand island. All right, all right, enough. None of that matters after today. Let's just get the hunters. And don't worry, we're never gonna have to see these scumbags again after today. Unless this turns into a regular thing for us. Well, all right, let's just concentrate on getting through this one before we go making plans like that, all right? Hey, I'm just saying. Vito's right. Let's just get through the rest of the day. After that, smooth sailing, fellas. Here we are. Let me do the talking. These are tough guys, so no wise-ass comments. All right, Joe? Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey, man. Come on in. We hit the jackpot. You ain't even gonna give me a tip? You want a tip? I'll give you a tip. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Always the gentleman, <laughs> huh, Joey? Just get the fuck out of here hey, already. Gina, wanna come join me? Hey, I hope there's room for three in there. Barbaro's Bordello. You got the money, we got the honeys. Vito, it's Henry. We got a problem. What kind of problem? Eddie, 
paid me a visit. Carlo knows about the deal, and he sent Eddie to pick up his cut. Uh, how much? Sixty grand. Fuck, how much? What are we gonna do? I don't know. We don't even have enough left for Bruno. Meet me in the park. I don't want to talk about this over the phone. Okay. I'll be right there. Joe, we gotta go. What? What for? Now, Joe. I'll tell you on the way. All right, girls, like up when you leave. Me and Vito got business. So what the hell's going on? That was Henry on the phone. Carlo found out about the deal. Ah, shit. Does he know we was involved? I don't think so. Let's talk about it in the car. We headed. Lincoln Park. We meeting Henry there? Yeah. All right. So what did Henry say on the phone? He okay? He sounded okay. But Carlo took his car to the take. Fuck. Just like Henry said he'd do if he found out. Yeah, but now the problem is... We don't even got enough to pay Bruno back. Ah, shit. What the hell are we gonna do? I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get to the park. Yeah. Henry will know what to do. Come on in. Hey, how you doing? Just tell me what you need, sir. Thanks, Vito. I appreciate the business. Henry's different these days. The guy's got a real... What the, what the fuck? fuck's going on? Shit, that's Henry! What the fuck are they hitting him with? Get off me! Back me up, Vito! Ah, you're fucking brilliant! I'm the best! 
fuck? Who the fuck does something like this, Vito? Them people are fucking sick. Shit! Who the fuck does something like this? Who do you think? God damn it, help me! Damn it, help me! Look at this, Vito. You fucking believe this? Yeah, the money's gone too. Joe, come on. We gotta get out of here. Cops will take care of me. Hey. hey, that's the old guy who sold us the dope, Wong. Of all the ways to kill a guy. Goddamn bullet would have been enough. These bastards are sick in the head, Vito. They're gonna fucking die. All of them. I mean, why do it like that? And in the middle of the park. Like I said, they're sick. I'm gonna turn them in. The chap fucking suey. Hey, not for nothing. We don't even know how many of them there are. Yeah, and it don't matter. Hey, Henry's dead. What do you want us to get killed too? We gotta do this smart, Joe. It don't matter how we do it. As long as they're fucking dead when we're done. All right, listen. There's probably more than two of them. So what? The more the fucking merrier. So there's only two of us. Unless maybe you want to call Carlo and tell him all about the mess we're in, ask him to send some guys over here. All right, fine. I get it. All right, so promise me you're not gonna go in guns blazing as usual. We gotta do this the smart way, all right? Slow down, Vito. You're getting too close. I'm doing the best I can. Vito, we don't want him to see us. This guy drives like a chick. Never mind. Now we know where to find him. Let's get in there and take him out before he disappears with the money. Hold on, I'm gonna need some serious firepower first. We can either go to Harry's or we can kill these fucks right now. Just say the word.
Here's your fucking membership fee. God damn it, Joe. Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You've seen what they've done to Henry. God damn it, Joe. You see? Why didn't you just bang the damn gong while you were at it? I get the asshole behind the door. Maybe no. Oh, I bought you, eh? You are so tired. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, nice shot, Vito. Come on, Vito! Show them who they fuck! Yes, no! Boy, good boy! Hot way, go, Bing! <laughs> Watch out! They're shooting from up top! Come on, Marco Polo! Come on! How do you like that, huh? Come out and fight like man! That's it, Vito. I Kill them all! You Every last one of them! <laughs> Take them out quick, Vito! We gotta find Wang! Vito, let's move up. So it's a fucking go. Get the guy out of there. Out there, for you. Four more to go, Vito. <laughs> Tell your boss I'm coming for him. This is for Henry, you bastards! Come Where the out, fuck are they all coming from? Come on, Vito! Waste them all! <laughs> Watch out, here comes more of them. Inside Damsong, Kai Wei Sai, fucking with me. Why? Tong to Tong Ah. Hey, leave some of these little bastards for me.
All right, you go first, Vito. You're a smaller target. Thanks. Hey, you said we gotta do this smart, right? Give up now. Where the hell is that prick? He's gotta be around here somewhere. Let's keep going. Bingo. Jesus, fuck, just keep on coming. How many more they got back there? Don't matter. I got plenty of bullets. I'm going. Quiet, Vito. Since when are you concerned about making noise? There's too many of them. Just take them out nice and quiet. Are you deaf for ah, what? I said we should be quiet. Oh, Hunkai, how been Tokai? Come on, show yourself. Sailor! <laughs> Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. They teach you that? Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. myself. Go, Vito. <laughs> you shoot like my sister. 
missed it. the last of them. See? Ain't so bad so far, right? Yeah, but what if somebody recognizes us and Carlo hears about it? That's why we ain't leaving no witnesses. There's probably more of them down here. Get ready. You slanty-eyed fuck! What is it that you want? What the fuck do you think we want? We want to know why you had our friend killed. We also want the money you took from him. I had no choice. Your friend was a government informer. What the what? fuck are you talking about? A contact inside the Federal Bureau of Narcotics told me that Henry Tomasino passed them information about our deal. That's a fucking lie! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You saying Henry was a rat? Yes. But not anymore. That's bullshit. Makes no sense. And I suppose you had nothing to do with the little stick-up after we closed the deal with you either, right? You think we would take such a stupid risk and destroy our own factory? That was just another reason to get rid of you. We had problems with you from the very beginning. Yeah. Well, all your problems are just about over, pal. So where's our money? It's not here anymore. What?! Where the hell is it, then? I cannot tell you. If you don't tell us, I'm gonna splatter your yellow brains all over this fucking room! If I told you, I'd be dead anyway. Fine. Your choice! Are you crazy? What you want to do, let him go or something? We could have gotten more out of him. Fuck that. He wouldn't have said nothing. These bastards are tough. <sighs> Let's just get the hell out of here before the cops come. Like this place won't be opening up for a while. If we had the time, I'd burn it to the damn ground. Vito, come here. Ah, oh, fuck this! Come on, Vito, let's get out of here. There's too many of them. Find us a car, quick! He's a maniac! We gotta take him down! Going in! Ten for off! All right, we lost them. Take me to my place, Vito. I need a fucking drink. That was, uh... That was fucked up, huh? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Just get me back to my place, would you? All right.
fuck are you doing? What's up your ass today? Deal was a total fucking disaster. Tell me about it. Henry's dead. We don't have Bruno's money. We killed half the Toms. And if they think Carlo sent us, it'll mean war. We're fucked. Yeah. And if Carlo finds out we got him into this mess... What if Henry really was a rat? No fucking way. Don't even say that. Look, first let's get the money for Bruno. That'll fix at least one problem. But I'm done for today. I need a drink. Call you in the morning. We'll figure this shit out. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. And Vito, be careful. Sound like I'm ready. You just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit? Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be in your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. Hey, what's with the fancy wheels? Eddie gave it to us just for this job. Nice, eh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard, too, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Head over to Greenfield. All right. So now can you tell me what this is all about? We're just gonna drive there, pop some guy, and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. Said it's gotta be clean, and it's gotta be done today. Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while, and he just found him. They're afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's gonna disappear again. Here, here's a picture of him. What'd this guy do? Says here he ratted his family out to the feds. Guy's got it coming to him now. But wait a minute. If he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? What if he still is? Even if he is, we're getting paid a few grand for the job. So it's more than worth the risk. Uh, if you say so. Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other work. All right. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. Okay, got it. Hey, and if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. We was never there. Last chink we saw was delivering egg foo young. You get it? Yeah, what do you think I am? Some kind of retard? Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all.
Remember what you gotta say? Yeah. All right, here we go then. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Like I said, he's about six feet tall, dark so hair, medium build. Oh, those guys over there. <laughs> go, go! We got a homicide here. Suspect is on. This is Agent Cox. We're in the support in Greenfield. Now, goddammit! Those were feds. That asshole really was under protection. That he's famous for conveniently leaving out little details like that. Maybe he didn't know. Don't matter now. We gotta lose him. Oh, fuck. That was close. Get me to Kingston, will you? I got a car waiting there. What about the money? Hey, I almost forgot. Eddie paid me in advance, so here's your share. Good luck getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay. I'll see you later.
Hey. Vito! Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit-down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that dead bitch you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. Are you in? All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. These fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. You wanna know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how Stunajis are. So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here. And I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you! Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck! And if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Lower just like your he voice did, John. Now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking dead. Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you, broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. We don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Skeletus boy, ain't you? I, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at me. Why don't you ask him how your dad drowned Trap. that night? We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all Why the things. Were you all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him? Because he wouldn't stay underwater. Keep your mouth shut. Vito, you swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. <sighs> Should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more than disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow it's me, crazy, guys. crazy, fellas. Shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Some extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. 
Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow That's me, crazy. guys. Shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Some extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. You think you could just fucking do something like this and walk away? You miss your old man, Vito? Don't worry. You're gonna see him soon. With you. I'm gonna feed you to the rats. What do you think of Vito? You think you could just fucking do something like this and walk away? You're fucked! 
You know what's gonna happen to you when people find out about this? <laughs> Miss your old man, Vito? Don't worry. You're gonna see him soon. I'd spent my whole life trying not to make the same mistakes my old man did. Then I find out I'm following in his footsteps. It was good to finally know the truth, though. And Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. Whoa. Looks like I just found Derek's retirement funds. about the cops yeah they might be a problem but anyone who saw us swear we did it in self-defense you were never here all right good luck then jesus mary and joseph god help you all
about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Roger that.
Joe wasn't home. At first I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon. Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Roger that. Vito, good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked him to death in broad daylight. Well, why? So you don't know anything about it. Well, uh, Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dub with the tongs. He knew this was off limits and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe was with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. 
Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, it ain't gonna be pretty. No shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his ear to the ground. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his ear to the ground. Hey, Giuseppe, I'm looking for Joe Barbro. Was he here today? Ah, no, Vito. Yeah, Joe came by today. Great, I've been looking for him the whole day. Did he say where he was heading? Well, no, he didn't. I don't think he knew himself. How come? Well, he was looking for a job, but before we managed to finish a conversation, a few guys came and took him away. What? Who? It was Vinci's people. They said Mr. Vinci wanted a word with him. You know where they would've went? No, lo so. Maybe to the bar, the Mona Lisa. Shit. Is there something wrong? Not sure. Let's just say we're not on the best of terms with Mr. Vinci these days. Yeah, Joe didn't look too happy. I got a bad feeling about this. I better go find out what's going on. I hope it's nothing serious. Buona fortuna, Vito. Take care of yourself. For your car? Hey, Vito, just no license plate. <laughs> for you, no problem. Happy to be of service.
freeze and maybe I won't kill you. Hiya, fellas. Look at the balls on this guy. Nice to see you too. Don't move a muscle. Come on, listen to the friendly bartender and stop fucking around, Vito. Now, first of all, I gotta ask you to slowly toss your guns on the floor. No funny business, neither. The bartender's got the itchiest trigger finger in town, huh? I'm not armed. Okay, so what are you doing here, Vito? We wasn't expecting you. I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. I heard some of your guys picked him up. Eh, yeah, maybe. What are you trying to pull? Me and Joe didn't do nothing to you. Mr. Vinci doesn't seem to think so. He wanted a few things explained to him, so that's what Joe is doing. And since you've stopped by, why don't we go and join them? And what if I don't want to? These guns say you do. But don't worry, it's got a hell of a view. Shit! Ah! Oh. Hey, what's up, Joe? The assholes went to take a leak. <sighs> Great. Well, can you explain to me why the fuck we're here? That old fuck Vinci can't see what's going on right in front of his face. And he thinks I can explain it to him. Idiot. Oh, the happy couple is here already. Welcome, Vito. What's going on? You got no reason to treat us like this. No reason? No reason? First, the business with Leo. And then all hell breaks out in the city. The chinks, they're going nuts. Everybody's fighting like lunatics. And now, those yellow bastards are threatening to kill me. It's out of fucking control. Now, I'm too old for this shit, so you're gonna tell me what the hell's going on here. Come on, I'm all ears. Mr. Vinci, look, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Believe me. Me and Joe ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't what I want to hear. Yeah, well, that's your problem. Because we don't know shit about any of this. That's too bad. Finally. We don't got much time. We gotta do something. All right. We'll try to break the pipe. Come on, help me out. I can't do it by myself. Okay. One, two, three! One, two, three! Again! One, two, three! Fuck you! You filthy fuck! Come on! Come on, you fuck! What the fuck was that noise? Shit, they're loose! Fuck this, I'm out of here. Oh, Let me live, please! That asshole killed him!
Eat that, you asswipe! You What was that noise? Shit, that <laughs> look. I'm out of here. Ah. Eat that, you asswipe! Where the fuck do you think you're going?
Are you like that, huh? Come on! Where the fuck you think you're- uh.
I really don't need this shit. <laughs> 